we're just gonna banish this uh demon from our our world i do not want you <laughs> just stop existing there you go enjoy today is finally the day we're getting ourselves a rex that's right finally we're, we're actually gonna do it obviously i'm gonna be getting myself a paleo rex as well just uh figure that was obvious but um yeah so i've been checking out our saddles here's something weird we have a uh, a straight up saddle that's basically 134.8 and then our blueprint is 134.6 so i'm gonna go with no i'm gonna of course make one of these blueprint saddles i gotta and like i've been collecting a bunch of hides so i definitely think i deserve this as well so yeah we're gonna be making up one of those not a thousand and then we're gonna be heading out to look for a rex let's see let's quickly grab one of these crafting skill potions we got that going um and yeah i think we're pretty much good to go here so let's pop that boom pick up the little burb and then make up one of these saddles okay come on give me a good percentage this thing costs seventeen thousand hides so it's pretty expensive uh are you actually kidding me that that's just unfair that is 0.4 percent god no <laughs> that's the worst ah that is so annoying really come on bro like what is that crap that is <laughs> i kind of almost want to grind it now i kind of almost want to grind it just despite it but we're not going to that is the absolute worst by the way we have more horses now uh they're completely random so we have like three green ones and two blue and one red so we need to keep going into that cave to collect up some more of these things um but anyway yeah no, that's super annoying i cannot believe that, <laughs> that we're being stuck with just like a barely upgraded saddle for 17,000 hide honestly at this point we should probably just start grinding up a bunch of these saddles in here that we're not going to be using um i'm looking at especially ones like mosa and stuff although we don't really have too many of those to be honest what about plessy yeah not too many of those either hmm all right well whatever it's fine uh, let's just cover up that saddle with this really cool bex bex with this really cool rex bone skin bex bone skin i guess uh let me show you what i made that look like boom so yeah made it kind of like syntaxy colors all right well anyway yeah let's head out and try to get ourselves a couple rexes um i'm only gonna be going for super high levels and i'm gonna assume that there's some out there because i i've said this before i gotta put the bird back i've said this before and i'll say it again I have had to cut out so many max level Rexes from my videos just so I don't get grief from you guys. <laughs> it's it's kind of insane. I've cut out like tons of them. Um, I would probably say maybe like at least 10. At least 10 instances when I've looked at a max level Rex and I'm like, okay, well that footage right there is not being included. So yeah, Um, anyway, let's see. Let me see if I can manage to find some. We're gonna do a little bit of flying around because it's not like I can find like 20 Rexes in the same area and I don't wanna be flying, or I don't wanna be running around across the whole map looking for them. So I'm just gonna go and check areas where I have seen a bunch of them in the past. Uh, and let's just check the levels on them. Hello. You are bad. Not really too much good luck so far. I killed a couple here just a second ago. You're new. Um, you are a regular Rex. What are you doing here? You should not be here. There we go. You're dead. Nice. So, um, yeah, I'm actually kind of super glad that I was able to hold off for what is, I think, being 48 episodes before getting one of these things because they look really cool. I don't think that they do anything different, but um, they will lead to rex that can do something different um so if anybody is not familiar with the paleo mod uh there's the paleo rex but then using that uh if you breed it there's like a one percent chance that you'll get like this rare rex called the uh, evolved rex and it's a rex that has like another ability where it's able to pick up creatures using its mouth which sounds great to be honest so um yeah we're uh we're gonna work towards that soon um but tribe wise we've kind of all made like this this pact that we're going to continuously tame up some high level rexes and then eventually we're gonna combine all of our best stats together make the ultimate rexes and then at that point we're gonna breed for some evolved rexes and the evolved rexes are breedable and everything once you get them i think that you know you don't really go back to the regular rexes after that so um yeah we're pretty much just gonna be breeding for stats here today of course but you know obviously having a pretty good rex to be able to pull out occasionally could be kind of handy too so um yeah i'm gonna keep checking areas where i know that we have some and then um yeah then hopefully i can bring you guys back when we find a high level 
if that happens before a blood moon that would be great we just had a blood moon i logged on and there was a blood moon so i'm pretty happy that that didn't happen when i'm out and about trying to tame up some of these dudes because it that would actually be the worst because these things you know if i think even if i did have it knocked out maybe not although i'm not sure I, basically during the blood moon anything that become that can become an alpha does become an alpha and um yeah i feel like if i was in the middle of taming something that can you know turn into an alpha creature then i'd probably end up losing that creature or something i'm not entirely sure what happens um but yeah so <laughs> that could be the worst anyway yeah i'm gonna continue to look for them in the fog unfortunately but you know what it is what it is speaking of 174 oh okay we'll get that one <laughs> <laughs> cool all right was not expecting that nice um okay actually you know what crap i just realized i didn't make any trap stuff so you know what we could probably just do it on foot it's fine um let's see let's pull out blueberry nice all right let me pop you out boom Ooh, can i hop onto you thank you very much let me pump up your levels very nice you have so much xp from being inside of cryopod let's see all right come on rexy poo so yeah 174 is pretty good to begin with um obviously i'm probably just gonna be going for like 174s and 180s like realistically i, I like i've been saying i've been seeing so many high levels here so it's insane like i really just need to be going for them oh is he coming for me now oh yeah he is or she is that roar is awesome as well by the way all right let me see let me go over here we just shoot at it a little bit and really shouldn't take too long to knock down with the um shocking trank dars from this amazing rifle by the way even that rifle that i made a couple episodes ago was immediately dethroned by a rifle that or i guess a blueprint that evo found and then he crafted up a couple of them and then this one right here isn't even that good in terms of percentage it's only like 37 percent, and we can get like i think up to 60 so yeah oh, i did not mean to do that Ooh. oh and you're out already nice okay how many darts did that take i think that was like maybe like 10 i don't even know dude that's insane all right cool let's uh let's see let me just probably are we still getting battle music what's happening okay cool i'll just probably leave you there to be honest um let's just get you on the taming tracker we're just gonna let it starve i mean it's probably worth doing i mean like i, I guess i could build a trap around it but i'm gonna be leaving this area i've already checked this area for rexes we only found one so far um i guess i could go back over there and see if any new ones have respawned because i technically did one i did kill one very very close to this here so i don't know we'll see but um yeah we're just we're gonna keep trying to tame them here today i want to tame up a bunch of them if possible but uh we'll, we'll see how it goes look at that sad dead rex that i killed oh no there we go just hide the evidence also hide yeah <laughs> we need lots of that oh man you know what if i can collect seventeen thousand more hide in this episode we're making another saddle <laughs> that's that's the deal okay that is 100 gonna be the deal oh yeah there are new rexes here you were not here earlier uh wow okay <laughs> freaking tech rex as well they probably all share the same spawn so i'll just start killing every single rex that i see oh by the way i really need to catch up on some of the names because i know you guys have been leaving tons of suggestions on the previous videos i do like to leave it just a little bit before i pick one because i've had times in the past when i've picked one and then like literally a couple hours later somebody comments something that's so much better so i just kind of like to leave it just a little bit um but yeah i'll pick one real real soon maybe after i record this video well let's come back over here for some nostalgia because this is where we had so many rex occasions at the very start of the series um yeah this is our little house that we were living at for that time and um if you guys remember we had so many occasions when i actually i left the area and then i came back and there was like a rex right beside it so um yeah i don't know i figured that we'll probably end up finding some here i remember just having to constantly leave them down into the fields here though because like i just at that point i couldn't have fought a rex it's just silly unfortunately it doesn't really look like we do have many rexes here there's a lot of brontos and that's about it yeah that kind of sucks well i see the perfect candidate for some hide um let me see let me just do this to kill you quicker we use a chainsaw on it as well just to uh to get the ultimate amount <laughs> this has so far been like the best way to get it you know uh let's see where do i have my chainsaw uh right here let me just pop that into my bar 
here we go i've been getting tons of comments recently to make a little hide farm which i probably will end up doing because like hide is honestly the one thing that we are constantly out of that and wood to be honest but like we all i think we all do a decent amount of collecting of the wood so yeah but yeah honestly maybe just a, a little bracky hide farm would probably be the best way to do it I, do baby brackies give a, lo a lot of hide i think they might um all right seventeen thousand. oh just shy of it but i feel like i have enough from the other uh bits that we collected <laughs> that's insane all right here we go i'm super weighed down so we might have to teleport back to base with this stuff but yeah i am allowed to craft another saddle now um maybe not metal wise but i'm gonna do it anyway just figured i'd check out this area again real quick before we head out um i'm probably going to go to um this area over here i reckon that's probably a good spot to look um some of my map isn't actually uncovered again because i think with that recent arc update they um they pretty much just like wiped maps i guess or something so yeah i gotta go around and, and uncover the rest of it all right well you know what i think i might head over there now because it doesn't seem like there's anything over here yeah so this foresty area over here is um probably going to yield some rexes for me i don't know we'll see but um yeah i'll just bring you guys back once we find another one because like it's just gonna be a lot of searching otherwise which you know fair enough i guess some people like to watch but i don't like to have to commentate over like 20 minutes of me flying <laughs> you know <laughs> i mean like hey i could start including like all of the filler footage if people really really want to but then you won't want to watch the videos you know i mean some people will but a lot of people wouldn't i wouldn't but yeah there's like a huge amount of just filler footage that i guess i could include <laughs> if you guys don't mind hearing like silent footage as well then sure i'll, I'll include it all <laughs> no obviously not gonna be doing that but uh yeah let's see can we manage to find some of these dudes hello we got one right here good level that's 180 <laughs> okay sweet <laughs> i'll take it that okay that's fantastic and it's a male it's a, kind of exactly what i needed to be honest um all right let's uh let's get this dude knocked out maybe over the side of the river you gotta probably move very very far away from the river uh this area right here is actually one of the spots where you can find a good amount of rexes so i was uh I, I was expecting that we'd be able to find one, but I, I didn't think that the very first one I would look at would be the one. Um, gonna have to deal with the uh, Speed Demon and Terror Chicken over here. Uh, this is a high level, but it's fine. We've already got some Karno mutations. It's not like I'm gonna be taming anymore. Uh, the Rex is right there. Hello. Um, okay, let me bring you over here. We got a Rex. We got a Therizino. They're here to fight a Giga. <laughs> my god i actually love that scene from the new jurassic world movie i didn't re really enjoy the movie too much I, to be honest the last two of those ones have been kind of not great but um i did very much enjoy the uh the scene at the very end which is a spoiler now but like if you haven't watched it then are you really going to also why is this guy so hurt oh no uh i mean wait wait what was that oh there's like a oh there's dire wolves and they just ate him i didn't even know oh no i was wondering i couldn't actually see them oh man i don't have my volume up high enough to be able to hear them as well that's silly wow okay well we just lost a 180 rex to a pack of freaking dire wolves no wonder you guys are my other new nemesis in the series really oh dude well anyway yeah i just really enjoyed that scene from jurassic world um whatever the new one's called jurassic world domingo i think that's what it's called i'm joking sometimes i have to clarify that all right well yeah we got some more rexes around here don't worry that's only level 18. <laughs> oh no oh what have i done yeah got you i'm not gonna stop and chainsaw every single one it's fine um yeah we should be able to find it some more around here i've also killed a 174 in this area 156 is decent but it's not that good so i'm gonna go ahead and kill this there's also a rex egg on the ground maybe i'll grab that got you very nice uh where's that rex egg no oh i just disappeared and then it came back all right let me go ahead and eat this thing if we eat the rex egg we will empower ourselves to get rexes nice getting pretty close to uh moon territory i'm really hoping it's not another blood moon i hope i haven't jinxed it by mentioning that earlier hmm what no way come on 
<laughs> Wait, what am I going? I'm trying to get to here. Are you kidding me? Bro, why? That's my Rex. <laughs> That's the worst. At least seeing Rex, it should be a little bit easier now. We got a 120 down there. That's a regular one though, because there's a uh, there's a Paleo Alpha Rex. I'm... Oh, bro, come on. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I jinxed it so hard! Are you actually kidding me? I mean, there's really no point of looking around right now. Okay, I gotta know, does it just turn my Rex into an alpha or does it completely replace it and it might come back at like a different level now? I hope it's the former because if it's the latter, then I've just lost a 180 Rex a second ago and a 174. And on top of that, I'm out of stamina. And also, that 180 Rex, I probably would have been... I feel like it would already be out, actually. Never mind. I was about to say, I, I could have been in the middle of taming it, and then I couldn't, it could have turned to, like, an alpha. So, um, that's the worst. Uh, we got a Dimorph on us. Right now, everything is aggressive to me. Uh, if anybody missed the start of the series, uh, we talked about Blood Moons a lot back then. Basically, any creature that can turn into an alpha becomes an alpha. Uh, and then everything is aggressive towards me and also we get like half XP and uh, I think things deal double damage But I'm not sure if that's actually true. I'm not 100% certain. All right Well, yeah, uh, let me quickly go see if this Rex is still 174. It better be we're gonna have to re-knock it out regardless now <sighs> That's so that's so frustrating really <laughs> Like it, I, I oh my god <laughs> That's the worst. That's 156. It's a regular, though. Hmm. Yep. All right. Let me stop here for some stam, and then we'll go back over there and, and see. Ah, man. I'm so glad I didn't head, head back over and feed it or something. Actually, I'm glad that I didn't feed it in the first place. That's the part that I'm kind of happy about right now. And also, I'm thirsty. All right. I think it was pretty much over here-ish. It was like... Maybe you're like right ahead of us here, like kind of around the beaver area, right? Um, is that it? I think that might be it. Okay, it's still 174, and it just says normal T-Rex. It didn't turn into a paleo. What happens then when the blood moon goes away? Because I know they turn back. It's like, they're like werewolves, essentially, you know? The moon comes out, they transform, and then they transform back in the morning, and they don't remember anything. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like... What happens here, you know? Do, does it turn back into a regular T-Rex or back into a uh, Paleo? I actually don't know because I haven't been, like, watching this before. I'm hoping that that's going to... <laughs> you better turn back into a Paleo because I'm going to cry. <laughs> that's going to be the worst. Two Rex is lost in the span of, like, ten minutes. Ah, man. I just want to let them know not to kill it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't want him to kill my freaking Rex. <laughs> that would be, that would be so bad. All right, maybe we can team up and kill this, uh, Alpha Raptor, though. This is a good time to come out and get some chibi levels, though, to be honest. Hey, we killed the Raptor. That was a 216? Wait, what? How is it a 216? Did I read that wrong? <laughs> okay. Are all the alphas like super high levels or something? How the hell was that a 216? All right, well, I guess I'm gonna wait here till morning because you know, there's really not much point of me going out and and killing a bunch of things when I uh, I just gotta worry about my freaking Rex at this point. Ah, that's so unlucky. Like, I hate the fact that I called that that would happen. <laughs> I, I absolutely hate that because I definitely jinxed the server into just being like, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You know, the Archons are just like, yeah, that sounds great. Let's do that to him. You know, the first time he goes and tames a Rex, let's just mess him up. <laughs> let's just throw the worst possible thing at him at this point, you know? Ah, man. <laughs> oh, dude, I love this game. <laughs> it's like, where else could you experience such bad luck, you know? I don't think I've experienced such bad luck in any other game ever, you know? And I've been playing games since I was a little kid. You know, like, I've never been screwed over so much by a specific game, but I've never kept coming back to that game, you know? Like, I've, I've had frustrating games that I've played in the past, but most of the time I'm like, yeah, let's just play something different. With this one, it's just like a, 
I don't want to say it, but it's like a, a specific type of relationship. And it's just, you know, is it healthy for me? I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, dude. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, we're just, uh, we're going to chill here in the uh, safety of our own base. Um, if it's going to be possible to, to stay here, we'll see. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll wait till morning. All right. Can't really remember at what time the blood moons end. And by the way, the sky right now is completely unrelated, but it looks really, really cool. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we still have the blood moon. I think it's like five or six. I can't remember. So let's just head over and see, see the transformation back and you know, in just typical werewolf fashion. There we go. That's our Rex right there. Please turn back into a paleo. Okay. I think it might be like 530 ish. Oh, it just happened. <gasps> there it is. It's back and it's unconscious. Oh, no way. That's awesome. Hang on. Hang on. Am I still teaming it though? I am. Oh, and its food is still drained. Oh, okay. That's good. That's well done because there could have been an easy solve for this and it could have been just when the creatures return, they're just, you know, they're gone. Like the, the alphas just disappear. But this is great. That's fantastic. I can't believe that that's how it actually works, though. That's cool. All right, how much per feed? Um, so what's get that going to be then? I think it's like eight. All right, it's fine. We'll just... It's going to keep eating here for a little bit. Let's see. We need like one more, I think, in a second. All right, two more pieces, and then we'll be good to go. All right, I'm going to go see if there's uh, any more Rexes around that we can tame, um, because we are very far away from another potential Blood Moon. I I'll actually, like, I'm going to quit the game today. I'll come back tomorrow. You know, we just talked about it a second ago. You know how I am. Uh, but, you know, I'll quit the game today if it throws another freaking Blood Moon at me. That will be three in a row, because, I, like I said, before I logged on, or when I logged on, it was already a Blood Moon. And, and yeah, so, <laughs> like, this game, it's it's just torturing me. All right, let's see. Do we have any more Rexes over here? Oh, there we go. Reincarnated version of that Rex that we found earlier. <laughs> Dope. All right, uh, let's see. Is there any wolves around here that want to ruin my team again? It's just the worst. All right, let me see. Uh, I should probably pull that blueberry, but it's fine. We can We can tank the hits from this thing. All right, let's see. Any wolves down there? No, no wolves this time. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing knocked out. This is, um, this is pretty much where I tamed the Andrew Sarkis, or at least where I started to tame it. Um, yeah, this is basically where I ended up killing a 174 Rex that was just sitting there. I didn't even mean to. I think I included that footage in the video, though, to be fair. <laughs> All right, come on. This thing actually looks dope as well. It's got, like, freaking yellow on it. Should go out pretty soon here. Yeah, we're getting down to the end of it. I think it literally is like 10 darts. Uh, maybe one more after this one. This actually would be a good spot for to knock out in. Oh, I missed. Crap. Ugh. Don't fall off the freaking mountain. No. Okay, I got you out. Sweet. Uh, let me see. I can't see anything. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we got our second Rex out. A 174 or sorry, a 180 male. My bad. Um, our 174 should wake up fairly soon. I'm going to keep checking this area because uh, I haven't fully checked it. And then we'll um, we'll maybe head back over there and grab that thing. Actually, did is it the exact same Rex? It is. Okay. Even its health stat is the, is the exact same. So that's cool. Um, man, that is awesome. I'm so glad that's how the freaking mod works. Like I was, I was honestly thinking that it might end up just like throwing like a random level back at me. You know, it just spawns a new one where it, it took my my one away and, and replaced it with an alpha rex but that's dope let's see hello you were really cool colors 156 eh, i'm gonna go ahead and kill it seems like a good level but you know like eh, we can find much better i mean considering i found two 180s and a 174 today you know i, I think we can find better than a 156 oh hey okay another 174 Nice. That's what happens when you kill uh, 156s, you see. You get 174s, and there's a 180 aloe up there. Not going to tame it, though. It's not a dwarf aloe, and I only want the dwarf ones, even though I'm not really getting good luck with the stats at all. All right, let me go ahead and put you away real quick, and I'm going to pull out blueberry. There you are. Oh, my God, it's getting close. Quick. All right, we're good. <laughs> Hello. All right, you know what? We can probably... Wait, this is a paleo, right? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. About to say <laughs> although never mind it's roar it's roar basically gave that away all right well that's one dart so far two 
Uh, really? Three. Bro, stop going after that horse. What are you doing? He's going for a drink. <laughs> All right, come on. Come back here. Stop going for the freaking horse. It's just a horse. Come here. Come on. No, no, no. Don't go after them. I see you. It, look, he's swimming in that tiny little bit of water. So silly. All right, let me bring him a little bit further away from there. Uh, maybe like here. Start knocking you out again. If I leave the area, he'll be fine in this spot, you know. We'll probably just leave him with some kibble, though, to be fair. Oh, what the hell is that? What is... Why was that roar? Why did you do that? That was awesome. All right, crap. Uh, you're not gonna... Mm, I feel like the next start's gonna knock him out. Gonna wait for him to cross the river first then, I guess? In that case? Um... Wait, what? What just hit me? Okay, no, that was him trampling. Boom. Okay, maybe one more. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Gonna leave him with some kibble, get him all tamed up, uh, and then leave this area completely. So the 174 that we knocked out at the start is now uh, tamed up. So we'll go over and check that out. Um, and then maybe check out that whole biome again. Just see if there's anything new. Um, sweet. All right. Well, yeah, let me get this 180 fed as well. Uh, should probably take the same amount of kibble, I think. Now, the real question is, we have three high levels knocked out right now. Or sorry, two of them knocked out, one tamed up. Now, he here's the thing. Are they even going to have any good stats? realistically <laughs> your health over there is lower than this one over here so yeah i feel like all their health is not super great i feel like closer to like 10k is where you want to be um yeah not super great but anyway yeah like are we even gonna get any good stats out of all these you know we might we might not uh not gonna do any breeding here today like i said before but you know um eventually when we get to that point that's gonna be great um if, if everybody has been taming them up then we probably have some pretty good stats tribe wise and and yeah we'll eventually have just super amazing rexes i'm so excited all right let's see bro let me pick you up boom got you and you have uh really really average stats yeah not great the health is is super bad so then that lets me know that the other two have even worse health <laughs> so that's you know it sounds like a bad thing but it actually might not be because if they have really really bad health then there's a chance that their melee might be high and and that would be great you know because there's only a certain amount of stat points to distribute and oftentimes you don't get a rex that has really really good health and really really good melee so um you know for, for the most part like if you're gonna get one really high stat if anything you might get average like we just got there all right so this rex up here is tamed and then the other one i think is um yeah it's about halfway there till its next feed cool all right well uh, i wasn't able to find any other good ones and i didn't want to come back to this biome just in case so um yeah you know what i think just today we'll probably go with these three we'll just see what we kind of get out of them and um you know what i can continue to just tame them up as we go forward as well anyway so let's see um 51 points into melee okay you see that's the good part that's what i was saying you know with a low health you might have good melee we also have really good weight there as well 48 points nice okay well that's a really strong rex and um that's that's dope it's like this this first one that we got is terrible <laughs> you're so bad you're so bad honestly wow all right well cool well uh, to be honest although this one's got really 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 bad stamina <laughs> so yeah we'll see all right well we got one more rex to uh to check out here so i'm just gonna stay up here wait for it to tame up and then i'll head down to it um hey how you doing you're about 20 food off of feeding all right let me pick you up did i get you there we go sweet um did we get oh my god that that is the most ridiculous Rex I've ever seen. Do you see that? 56 points into movement speed. You're not even worth the, the soul ball that you're in. You know what? I got I got something good for this thing. Hang on. We'll we'll be back. Let me I gotta get somewhere. Alright, I'm where I need to be. We're just gonna banish this uh demon from our, our world. I do not want you. <laughs> just stop existing. There you go. Enjoy. You know what? Uh, wait, can I make him move even further out? Let's see. He didn't really get super hurt there. I want him to continuously burn. 
Uh, thank you very much. Is that gonna be good? Okay, sweet. That's exactly what we want. All right, nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't want this thing in our world anymore. We're just gonna probably leave it in the volcano. I was tempted to shoot at it, but I think that would be a waste of bullets. Like, 56 points into movement speed is just a cruel joke, you know? And that, what, what level was that one again? That was a 174. How much, uh, like, that is so ridiculous. <laughs> That's honestly so silly. It's, like I said, it's not even worth dropping it out and, like, onto the ground in the soul ball. I want it to die. I don't want that thing to exist anymore, you know? We, we just gotta banish it from the code of the game. So, um, yeah, we'll probably just sit here and, and, and just watch it die. Hey, there we go. You're finally dead. That took way longer than it needed to. <laughs> oh man yeah there you go that's what you get for being terrible <laughs> that's kind of messed up i'll be honest <laughs> all right well anyway at least it's gonna be useful for something let's grab you some grab me some hide from you there we go look at that oh wow you had so much hide <laughs> oh man that's great i love that um yeah well there we go we got some rexes let me actually take uh this 51.1 out for a little spin i gotta at least check it out after we grab this red drop that's always in here let's see let me just pop down here there's always a red drop right here underneath the red obelisk i wonder if there's a blue drop underneath the blue obelisk um really <laughs> uh okay yeah that's pretty good oh and also you know what all that hide probably came from the harvest moon that's on right now um wasn't paying attention to the moons but i'm glad it wasn't another freaking blood moon but like just in general three moons in a row is actually pretty rare just to begin with you know usually you don't get a moon every single night i think there's like a 20 percent chance that it can be a moon and then there's also a 20 percent chance that it can be one of the moons like a specific moon as well because um you know there's five different ones all right well anyway this is our brand new rex let me check you out let me quickly pop this on myself and let me give you that really cool saddle so just so you know the skin is from uh when you kill the paleo alpha rexes uh they basically give that so it's part of the paleo mod looks really cool actually i like it a lot let me chuck this down here so we can see you properly pretty cool i kind of wish some of the color regions were like done a little bit better because i don't like the blotchiness of all of that um i wanted to include some black on it although it looks more like brown though to be honest so maybe i'll change that we'll see but um yeah looks pretty cool i like it a lot all right let me see how much damage do we do that might be mate boosted let me go hit something different instead actually you know what we could probably find um a death worm there's usually a bunch of them around here we do have a megatherium down here i forgot that they spawned in this area got a couple of them all right let's fight these guys first come on so yeah i think the damage value that we saw earlier was probably not mate boosted yeah okay so 263 pretty good actually i mean yeah that's pretty good obviously you know on top of that mutations is gonna add a lot um, and then, you know, of course, we're gonna have, um, you know, mate boost from, like, the other Rexes that we're all gonna have. So, yeah, that's gonna be great. Honestly, I'm kind of excited for, like, the big things that we get to do in the series. Because, like, I'm curious about the boss fights. Are the arenas different? Because if they are, I don't know what they're gonna look like. I don't know if they're gonna have water in them, if we want to try and use Spinos or something instead. But I think just in general, maybe using the Rexes could be great. Maybe not for the Broodmother. I think we probably will be going for Megatherium Army for that. Plus, we have a really good Megatherium Blueprint nowadays. So, yeah, much better than the one that we had when we were taming Megatheriums a couple episodes ago. I say a couple, but it was probably like 10. Uh, let me check out the Roar as well. Here we go. Oh, I like that. I kind of like how they don't swing their head with the Roar. It's much nicer. I don't know why. Does it do anything? I don't think the Roar actually does anything, does it? So, um, with the Evolved Rexes, they can also pick up things, but they also have, like, this, uh, foot stomp ability that I completely forgot to mention earlier, but, um, yeah, so two different new abilities and a Titanosaur in the sky. Awesome. Well, you know what, guys? I think that's probably gonna be it for today. Um, <laughs> I've had enough bad luck, and I don't want to continue any more of that, so, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we sacrificed our Rex to the, Re to the Arc Gods and the Rex Gods as well. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll get some better luck soon. Could you imagine if that was a 180? That would have been amazing. Um, we'll see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, we've made our start on the Rex army. Or the Rex teaming, at least, for the Rex army. But, um, 
yeah honestly super excited for all that stuff if you have enjoyed this video go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you want to see more like this and of course subscribe and i'll be seeing you in the next one